Hi folks, hope you're all well. I'm out on my first um, day hike for a while. Uh, I'm out in the new forest. Uh, it's about a 10 mile walk and about halfway is these woods. So I've stopped here to have a rest. I've something to eat and a cup of coffee. So there's a guy called Wade, his channel is um, Woods Walker 1965 and he's um, been doing a, a tag to uh, basically it's called, it's called Show Us Your Bannock and Thank Your Local Charity. He hasn't tagged me, <laughs> so uh, but he said you know if anybody wants to do it they can do it. I've never cooked bannock before so that's what I'm going to cook today. Um, I, I don't think I'll be tagging anybody else but uh, yeah so let me show you how to cook bannock or how I think you should cook bannock. Right, so the main ingredient for bannock, because it's a sort of uh, bread type thing, is flour. So I've got flour in there. Um, and then you also put um, fat with it, which I can't, I haven't got that here, but I've got some olive oil somewhere. And um, then this is uh, a mixture of baking powder um, and some uh, Parmesan cheese, so sort of grated Italian cheese, uh, some salt, and some herbs, which I think is oregano, yeah. So that's gonna go in there as well. Okay, so first thing is to mix it all up. So I haven't got a mixing bowl, but I've got um, my trusty, uh, very small um, saucepan, which is hopefully big enough for mixing it up. So let's put the flour in there first. Uh, spoon it in a bit. I'm going to um, not pull the flour in because I'll need some at the end. You'll see why. I'll probably do. Leave that bit. So that's the flour. And then I'm going to put in the other dry stuff, which is the baking powder, the cheese, uh, the salt, and the uh, oregano herb. So I'll put all that in there. And I want to get that all mixed up before I do anything else. Oops. I guess it's the baking powder that's the most important thing to get mixed in. Okay, so all the dried ingredients are mixed together. So now I'm going to add some olive oil. Not really sure how much, so I'll just put some in and see how we get on. Give that a mix. Okay, so that's the olive oil in there. So now um, the last thing is some water. Well, that's not too much. <laughs> Let's see, see. Okay, so it's getting quite um, quite sticky now, which is good. So I'm going to put a little bit more of that flour in it and try and get it into a ball shape. Okay, so uh, <laughs> oh dear. So I think I, I put too much water in, so it's a bit um, it's a bit sloppy. So it shouldn't really be quite as sloppy as that. It should be more more like dough and less like um, ice cream. But uh, I'm going to try cooking it anyway, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so there it is in a big blob. I think I need to get the heat going a bit more because there's not much happening at the moment. Okay, so I think it's been about five minutes and. Uh, that's actually look like it's starting to cook a bit. Let's just see if we can turn it over, that would be quite good. Ready. Oh, we're over. Oh, it looks a bit black there, but uh, the rest of it doesn't look too bad. All right, let's give it a, a while on that side and see how we get on. Right, so it's uh, a couple of minutes on that side. 
And the good news is it's not stuck to the bottom of the pan, so that's really good. I've got quite a lot of uh, fat in there, but I don't want it to get stuck because that would be a disaster. Yes, yeah, so that's cooking okay, I think. Okay, so it's had five minutes on that side. So uh, let me try turning it over and see what it's like. That looks better, doesn't it? I think the problem is, as usual, is that the um, the pan isn't isn't flat, so the the oil the fat isn't isn't sitting uh, isn't all sitting in everywhere on the pan. So the bits where there's not any fat, it can easily burn, which is what happened on the other side. So what I'm going to do is, although it's a bit of a pain, I'm going to try and uh, keep keep the pan flat manually. You never get a flat piece of, piece of ground in the woods, do you? I don't know why that is. <laughs> So I'm only a small channel, but I want, still want to do some shout outs. I don't want to miss out on shout outs. So I'm, I'm going, to do, going to do some shout outs today from uh, channels that are actually based across the other side of the Atlantic, North America. So um, there's three that I want to uh, mention today. There's one guy who's right up in um, Canada. I think, he's, I think he's in Nova Scotia from some of the pictures that he's, he's, uh, he's put on Instagram. And his channel is John Doe Outdoors. I don't know what his name is, but um, I'm suspecting it's not John Doe, but yeah, nice guy and uh, real outdoors sort of guy. Some really nice, uh, goes out into the woods and goes down the beach and stuff. Um, and he's got some really interesting kit, which he does kit reviews of sometimes. He's got a Firebox Nano, so I love him for that. Um, yeah, he's, he, he, he's on Instagram as well. So um, I really recommend that you uh, check out his channel and follow him on Instagram. Okay, number two is the channel name is uh, J Charles Outdoors, it's John. So he's actually based in Long Island, which is New York, I believe. Um, he's, but he's got a place um, in, out in the, in the woods. Um, so yeah, he's a, another real outdoors guy. It says walking and stuff. And uh, yeah, so he's done some nice outdoors. Unfortunately, of course, with the current situation, need I say more, uh, especially with the, in the New York area, he hasn't been able to get out out there out into the woods um, as he usually would but um, he has done some really amazing videos of New York City itself um, where he's been he's gone through New York on his bike um, he's got one of those uh, what is it he's got some sort of uh, camera on his on his um, on his head anyway and he's done some some really I, I found him really interesting actually I mean I've never been to New York I've never been to America so um, but yeah I, I found it really interesting and, and I guess if you've actually been to New York when it's full of people then it'd be even more interesting so definitely check him out for those and for his other the normal videos he does when he's not uh, locked down as shall we say and as we journey south um, Kentucky this guy is so it's uh, the channel is called backpacking with Jason um, so he's in Kentucky. Um, he he's a um, very good uh, walker, uh, backpacking, obviously camping, wild camping. Um, and he's got lots of very interesting kit, which he did a, a brilliant um, review of his uh, kit room. I was absolutely flabbergasted by the amount of stuff he's got. You know, I mean, I haven't got one of a lot of those things that he's got about four of, and he goes, "Well, this is my favourite one, but I've also got this one and this one." And yeah, so and he's a really fun guy, Jason. Actually, he, he does make me laugh. I mean, I think what I like about him is that he he really loves. You can tell he really loves getting outdoors. Um, he really loves being outside. You know, the look on his face, the big grin. You know, he's obviously so into it, and that comes across really well on the channel. So. Um, yeah, so um, I definitely uh, recommend that one as well. So let me just remind, so it's Backpacking with Jason is the channel. So uh, yeah, check him out too. Okay, so um, I don't really know whether it's cooked or not, but what I'm gonna do, it's had 15 minutes, I think, or just maybe more than that, maybe nearly 20 minutes. So I'm gonna take it out and uh, have a look at it inside. And if it's not cooked, I can always put it back in again. Right, so there it is. So let's have a look inside. Let's have a look. 
Oh, it doesn't look too bad actually. I think it hasn't uh, hasn't risen as much as it as it could have done because um, possibly put too much oil in. I don't know, but let's have a taste. Mm, that's very nice. Mm. It does taste. It does taste a bit of olive oil, but that's okay. But oh, it really tastes the herbs in the cheese. That's really that's very really nice. Actually, it's a lot lighter than I thought. If you look at that, there's nothing wrong with that. That's absolutely perfect. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, that, what a that. That looks good, doesn't it? Mm, that, that, is, that is just like bread. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Recovered. Well done. Not sure how, but. Mm. Oh, actually, that's really nice. <laughs> But then I like cheese, but it's just, it's cheesy bread. It's cheesy bread with herbs. Mm. Can we taste the uh, oregano? It could be garlic, wouldn't it? Wow. I wonder if you could put, you can get that powdered garlic stuff, you could put that in it. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. It is, it is really, really like, um, it is quite like a light, quite a light bread actually. Mm, okay, so if you remember at the start of this uh, video, I said that um, that Wade from uh, Woods Walker 1965 had this idea of uh, make some bannock and um, say thank you to a local charity. So there's a charity in uh, Salisbury, which is not far from me, called Elaborate, and they um, basically look after uh, homeless people. They try and get them off the streets. There's quite a lot of homeless people in Salisbury, actually, I'm not sure why. But um, I think it's a really good charity because, uh, especially in the, the current times we're in, shall we say, it's uh, even more important in a way. But those, those people do need a lot of help. So, um, yeah, I want to say thank you to them. I, I do, I do um, give them donations and what have you. But, yeah, so I want to say thank you to them. All right, well, I enjoyed my bannock. I've never had it before, but I'll definitely be having it again. Uh, yeah, it came out really well, actually, considering I thought I'd messed it up. It actually came out pretty good. I couldn't see a problem with that. Anyway, as I said, I'm about halfway around um, a 10 mile walk, so I've got another five miles to go to get round to get back home. So um, I think I'll leave this one here, um, pack myself up, get walking again through the woods, and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, folks.